Hello, good afternoon everyone. So welcome to another episode of Liquid Brain. So today we're going to talk through some basic in the SAM and BAM file format, specifically the sequence alignment map format specifications. So there are four main objectives for this video. So first of all is understand the basic definition of SAM, BAM, um, and as well as what it is, when is it used, you know, how to manually read it, how do you find a SAM file and BAM file, and lastly, uh, a short workshop that how you can actually generate a SAM file in Galaxy and you know, based on some public data in the SQL Read Archive or SRA. Okay, so, so first disclaimer, this is not a very advanced uh, SAM and BAM specification. So this is more for the, the average people that never seen this file before and try to understand it. So I don't want to make this video an hour long. So it's going to be a 5-10 minute short video on how to you get started on SAM file. And once you know where to find further information, it should be a lot easier afterwards. Okay, so first the basic definition of the SAM file. So sequence alignment map is a text-based format originally for storing biological sequences aligned to reference sequences developed by Hangley and Bob Hanshaker. So in this case, uh, I just straight up copied this from Wikipedia, which I find actually a really good uh, definition than the original document. So you can find the original SAM file specification in the link over here on the SAM2 GitHub page. So you should get every single thing that I cover in this uh, video, in this slide, and much, much more in the original specification. And understand that this is uh, alignment, this is version one. And in the future, if you're watching this and there's slight differences, try to check if the version number have changed. Okay, so next one is what is the difference between the SAM file and the BAM file? Uh, ideally, they're very, very similar even when you open them up in Galaxy. You know, the file format are very, very similar, but um, BAM file is a compressed version of the SAM file so that it is slightly, slightly smaller in size and they're more um, usable for machines while SAM file is more suitable for humans to read it. Okay, you can interconvert two of them in Galaxy quite easily. So uh, there comes the big question, when do we actually use the SAM file and BAM file? Because I believe people in the bioinformatics world have seen the BAM file and SAM file many, many times in the workflow and just quietly ignoring it because they don't really need it uh, most of the time. Because in most situations, BAM file and SAM file are really more of an intermediate for the overall process rather than output. So uh, that is actually from this example of variant calling. So when you do variant calling, when you find, find let's say, indels or SMP, you get a sequence read from the machine, which is in a fast queue format. You do some quality control, you align it to the genome. So that's provided you have a reference genome, you generate a SAM file. And then you further analyze SAM file to get your VCF, which contain your variant calling information. But in this case, usually the output will be in VCF and not in BAM file or SAM file. Okay, so, um, just to go through the example of the SAM file, you can actually find and download this example of the SAM file in the video description below. You will be in a TXT file and you can actually get the original file which is about 10 to 11 megabyte in the footnote uh, link down below. Okay, so there's two main sections for all the SAM file. Let's go to section one which is the header. So the header section actually have many, many different ways of representation and you can find a full specification here in the original file. I'm not going to go through it because it's, it's really, really long, but I'm going to go through it with the example that we have. Okay, so in this case, this is the example that I screenshot directly from the same format. I just take this and zoom it in up here. So there are only three main tags in the example SAM file. So first one is SQ. So that's the reference sequence dictionary. So which reference sequence are you referring to? So a reference sequence dictionary, of course, can have uh, multiple um, contact on um, the chromosome, but they all come from the same library. In this case, they're all from the same library, which is why they're all from called SQ. And SN is the reference sequence name. So in this case, reference sequence name is the individual chromosome within that uh, dictionary. So SN1, 2, 3, 4, 5, M and C refers to the different chromosome or different content within the reference sequence. So the last one is LN, which is the reference sequence length, relatively straightforward. This is just how long they are and the bigger the number, the longer they are. I think kind of straightforward. So the second is the second section in the same file 
is where most of the meat is. Okay, so this is the alignment information data. So there are 11 main columns. I'm just gonna go through uh, a few of them just to make sure that you are able to get a concept of it and you can actually read a lot more in the original document. Okay, so let's go to the first one, which is the query template name. So this is just the name of the reads. So you have one read, there's one name, or you could have uh, reads that are in identical font name and so on. So this will be a lot easier when we go through our, our Galaxy workshop later. Okay, so the second one is a flag. So the flag is how it is being mapped onto the sequence. So in this case, uh, it can be mapped onto the the positive strain or it can map to the, the negative strain and can map into let's say secondary alignment it can be a optical duplicate and it can be unmapped and so on and so forth so it depends on the number i'll explain as well when we go into our example in galaxy so the third one is the r name so that's reference sequence name that's the same as the sn that we described in the header above so in this case um, you should have one two three four five m or c so if it's empty, then you know it will just show as asterisk, which means that it's not mapped and they don't know which one is it. Okay, so position, relatively straightforward, is the position where the, ref the read sequence starts. So I have an example over here. You can see that the reference has a 19 nucleotide while the read has a slightly shorter, slightly shorter read. So in this case, the, the mapping starts from position five, which is why position, you should get a five. Uh, I think fairly straightforward on this one. So mapping quality, mapping quality is slightly more straightforward. It's just how well the overall situation are mapped onto the reference. The, the problem here is that um, the different number doesn't actually directly comparable when you're doing different, when you're using different algorithm for the alignment. For example, Bowtie 2 and uh, BWA would generate a different number based on the way that they calculate it. So uh, I have actually attached the the uh, further reading for you in the footnote over here so you can actually have a read yes 37 equals to 42 because there are two different algorithms so the next one is cigar string so cigar string is actually how you can represent the difference between the read and the sequence uh, in a much shorter and more concise format so they, they come in two things they always come with a number so let's say 8m 1i and so on so you always read them in in the code of two Okay, so one example over here, which is our reference and read from the example just now. The cigar string here is 3M, 1I, 3M, 1D, and 5M. Remember, read them in pairs. So uh, we already know that uh, position start from position 5, which is the A over here. So first of all, you have ACT. So that's three uh, exact matches, which is why you have 3M. You have 1A, which is an insertion which is why you get 1i, you get GAA, which is why you get 3m again, you can see here, and we have 1d because there's one deletion in the read, and lastly we have another 5m, which is another five matches in the nucleotide. So this is how we can convert such a very, very long uh, format and very long chunky information into very, very short and very, very easy to read. Understanding of how many matches are there, how many insertion are there, how many deletion are there, at this position very easily with cigar string. So I'll make another dedicated video on cigar strings on maybe next week or so on. Okay, so R next and RP next, I'm gonna skip it because it's slightly difficult to, to explain and it will take another half an hour. So T length is just the template length. So the higher the number, the longer it is. Uh, sequence is just exact sequence, while quality is the sequence quality. So this come from directly from the machine that used for the NGS. Okay, so now what? So most people do not actually use SAM file as part of the output. So you never see a SAM file output on any kind of paper because it's more of an intermediary star storage and calculation platform. Uh, but it's very important that you kind of understand how it works so that if you were to try to extract certain data, you know where to find them. So I have prepared a very short um, a kind of a workshop for you to actually generate a SAM file directly in Galaxy. So let's actually go to Galaxy. So Galaxy, use galaxy.org for those that don't understand, is actually don't really, haven't really used this platform before. So it's a free platform for you to run a lot of different uh, bioinformatic analysis on the cloud. So you don't need to 
analyze anything you don't need to type any code uh, you just click a few buttons and it will actually generate that for you so there's three main workflow that we i want to go through with you so first of all is how do you download sequence from sra so sra actually means sequence rich archive so actually it's maintained by ncbi uh, it's just a place that you can download uh, ngs data for free and they're quite, they're quite Quite fast actually as well so and then the second step is to map this fastq file with bwa so that's a uh, kind of map mapping algorithm um, that's quite common and the last one is how do you convert a bam file to a sam file and how do you view this file directly in galaxy so first of all i would strongly recommend you to try to get an account in galaxy that would actually allow you to have a much larger data storage uh, within your account otherwise you know it might not be enough Okay, so the first one is how to download data. So you go to search tool, you, you type SRA, and you actually go to here, download and extract read in FASTA, FASTQ format, click on it, and actually you will, you will see up here, there's a select input type. So what you do is that you go to the slide and you copy the SRR session number. So this session number actually directly refer to a single experiment, to a single read, where you can actually download the file as a FASTQ directly into the Galaxy platform. So you just select output format as GZ cotton press, fast kill, and just press as a kill. So when you, once you press as a kill, it will actually um, create a new number over here and you will slowly download the file from NCBI into the Galaxy server. Okay, so the second one is mapped with BWA. So what you do is that you go BWA, go and search over in the tools over here, and you have here, uh, you have a tools here called map with BWA. So map short reads against reference genome. It is actually not suitable. You should actually use Bowtie tie tool, which of course you can try to, to do it here. You can also use this as well, but BWA is faster. So I'm going to use BWA as a, as a showcase of, you know, how it works because it's actually 150 base pair for the example that we're using here. Okay, so what do we do is that uh, we need to use a reference genome. Uh, this is actually a yeast example. So I'm just gonna use one of the yeast reference genome as the reference. And what you do is that you just choose the FASTQ dump that you, you do just now. And since we are not using a pair end, we're gonna choose single FASTQ and go to the SRA FASTQ that you downloaded just now and set everything as the default and then press execute. So this will actually generate a, a BAM file. So you can actually have a look. So this is how a BAM file actually look like. So for you to actually view this file, very easy. Just click on the data and then there's I here, view data, and you can actually view data. And you can already see that this is very, very similar to the, the, the SAM file that we talked about earlier. So lastly, just to actually make sure everything is converted properly, you go to SAM, S-A-M where you can convert a uh, BAM file to a SAM file. So in this case, we're gonna choose uh, 19 over here and include header in the SAM output or, or you can exclude it if you want to and then you press as a kill. So this will actually convert a BAM into a SAM. So this is, I've already done this previously because the downloading, conversion, mapping would actually take a while. So we can actually view the data in, in the SAM format. So just to go through again as the as a summary of what we have learned, uh, we have a header over here, which has the HD. So this, the first line usually is just the metadata. Don't pay too much attention to it. It's just some uh, information with the analysis as well as the experiment. So the second one is SQ, 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 SQ. So that is actually the, the, the reference dictionary where you could, can see the SN has chromosome one, chromosome two, chromosome three, and chromosome M and their respective length. So the next one is actually just the, the a more uh, analysis information so you can also ignore that so this is just like uh, it's using BWA this is the this is the ID BWA and you have the sample galaxy and these are the reference sequence that we back to and so on and so forth okay so the first one is Q name so Q name is the query template name so in this case it's just the name of the read so you can see most of them are different because they are the different read so yeah nothing much to talk about that so the second one is the flag so you can 0 and 16 so um, as you can see from the slide just now we do not have a 0 over here so actually have done some research on this actually I found here so I'll uh, just to make things easy to understand for beginners zero means is they're mapped to a positive strain while 16 they're mapped to the negative strain it's not as simple as that but you can understand it that way so that you can move forward with life. Okay, so that zero means they're marked normally, 16 they're mapped on the reverse string. 
kind of the, the understanding here. Okay, the next one is actually the the, the chromosome is being mapped to. I think I believe this is called the R name. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Section two. Yeah, this is called the R name. So this is a reference name. So this is chromosome three all the way down but there's also uh, 3.2 million lines here so there are some of the samples that were actually mapped to a different chromosome so the next one is the position where they start from and we have uh, we're gonna go through here it's 150 m so this is actually a cigar string so what that means is that 150 base pair has been completely mapped onto the reference and yep we only have one difference so what 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 this means is that we have three map, we have one insertion, and we have 146 of them that is uh, mapped directly onto. So you can actually see there's only one here that's different, and the rest they are mapped completely onto the reference uh, genome that we use. Okay, so the next one is, let's go through directly on this one. Actually, I can't, because my camera is blocking the way, I can't really see the header. But this is actually the, the sequence directly that you are feeding in. So these are, so you can see that 150, um, cigar string means that 150 matches and these are the, this should be 150 nucleotide of that particular match okay so it should be exactly as the, the reference uh, reference um, read no reference genome and so on yeah you get the point and the rest uh, the next one is the quality sequence quality not available maybe they got clean off halfway during the data upload and so on and so forth and there are also some optional tag that is uh, within the experiment information uh, some might be useful some might not it depends on the purpose they're using it as well as algorithm this will change uh, significantly for for how you look at it okay so um that's basically conclude our workshop where you know we, we are still running on the second mapping okay so just get a a short recap of what it is. So for SAM file here, so it's the SQL alignment map file. So SAM file is something that contains the the difference between contains the, the mapping and sequence information. Yeah, the mapping and sequence alignment information where you can actually tell how different is your sequence data compared to the genome at once you're done the mapping. Okay, so the difference between the SAM file and the BAM file is that BAM file is more compressed. They're smaller, um, well, they're, they're a little bit more suitable for machine and not human. Okay, and you can convert them back to SAM Galaxy relatively easy. And SAM file most of the time is not used directly as output, but more of an intermediary calculation template. And there's, uh, the header line is slightly more complicated to understand, and it's actually varied from experiment to experiment, while the alignment information data has mostly 11 different columns, uh, ranging from the name of the template, the start position, the cigar string, and the sequence, and uh, the sequencing quality, and so on. Okay, so that's basically conclude our BAM and SAM file, so I hope that you will be able to go to Galaxy and try this yourself. And if you have further questions, please do leave a comment down below or send me an email, or you do want a further explanation of what we can, uh, what I can do further on this topic, please let me know, and stay tuned for the Cigar String video on the next week. Thank you for watching, we'll see you, bye. So I don't know, I'm, am I supposed to ask for like, subscribe, things and so on? Bye.